All right, so check this out. I come across this complex graph with tiny font on mobile, right? I long press to select, switch over to ChatGPT, drag and drop the image in a new chat, type out a keyword that expands out to a detailed prompt, hit enter, and after a couple of seconds, ChatGPT gives me a brief explanation of what the image is about and even transcribes all the text found in the image for easy copy and paste. Pretty incredible stuff, right? These are the kinds of AI workflows 99% of users have no idea exist. So here are five mobile habits that bring you one step closer to becoming AI native. Let's get started. Number one, drag to ask. The cross app drag and drop feature itself has been available on both Android and iPhone for a while now. In most native apps, you can long press on an image or text snippet and use a second finger to swipe out to drop the image or text into another app. But very few people have been using this with AI. Even though it's simple, building this one habit reduces a lot of friction when using AI on mobile. It's a small change that makes AI feel like a natural part of our workflow rather than an extra step. Here's another common use case. From my files app, I drag a contract PDF over to ChatGPT so I can ask questions to remind myself of the terms. And I've actually done this while on the phone negotiating with another party. Pro tip, let's say I'm in a spreadsheet and I wanna share this view specifically with AI. I can take a screenshot and instead of expanding the screenshot, clicking done, copy and delete, and going over to ChatGPT, tapping and pasting the image in ChatGPT, which is a lot of steps, right? What I can do is let's go back to the spreadsheet, take another screenshot, long press on the screenshot, open up ChatGPT, drag it over, and just simply type recreate this uh, table and let me download as CSV. And let's fast forward a little bit here. And there we go. Now, before we go crazy and start dragging everything into AI, a lot of non-native apps don't support drag and drop. So we need another approach to decrease friction. And this brings us to tip number two, instant content analysis. Diving right into another demo, I'm in Gmail right now, a non-Apple app, right? I open up the attachment and I tap the share icon on the top. And you'll see that ChatGPT is easily accessible in the share, share sheet. It is not there by default, right? And I can click it and boom, the PDF is uploaded to a new chat and ready for processing. So the idea here is that for situations where drag and drop does not work, we still wanna make sharing to AI as seamless as possible. And that means moving the AI options to the front of our system share sheet. Here's a setup for iPhone users. Go to any app with a share button. I'll use this random screenshot in my files app. I'm gonna tap share, scroll all the way to the right, tap more, and I'm gonna click edit. Toggle on your preferred AI app. Make sure they're installed on your phone first, obviously. Click the plus icon to add them to favorites and drag them right next to AirDrop and click done. Now your favorite AI app is front and center every time you click share. The setup for Android is even easier. Open up any image or file, click share, and long press on the app to pin it to the top of the system share sheet. That's it. Now we've got that set up, let's go through three specific workflows. First, websites. When you're browsing articles on Safari or Chrome, you'll notice that when you tap share to let's say ChatGPT, only the link gets passed over, but that's okay because both ChatGPT and Gemini can read the content of the webpage as long as it doesn't require you to sign in. So you can follow up with summarize this or share the key takeaways. Second, emails. This one's slightly different. In Gmail or Apple Mail, you have to select the print option first. So in Apple Mail, I have to click the reply option, go all the way down, select print. And then I can share this and pick the AI. And as you can see, the email is uploaded to a new chat in PDF format. Third, apps like LinkedIn block direct content sharing because of course they do. So even though it has a direct sharing option, it won't share the content, just the login required link. So the workaround, you have to actually share via Chrome, open this post in Chrome, take a full page screenshot like so, and then share that screenshot to the AI. Pro tip, during my commutes, I can't read long articles, but I still wanna be productive. So after asking ChatGPT for a summary, I hit the speaker icon to listen to the results. 
Speaking of being productive, a lot of you ask how I stay current in the world of AI. And honestly, it comes down to something my mentor taught me. Discover widely, learn deeply. Discover widely just means subscribing to one daily AI news roundup so we know what's going on. And learn deeply means dedicating 30 minutes a week to learn AI fundamentals. And that's where today's sponsor Coursera comes in. I've talked about them multiple times now. Some of my favorite courses include their AI Essentials course and the Prompting Essential Specialization, which they've created in partnership with Google. I've even branched out to AI adjacent courses like ChatGPT for data analysis, which I made an entire video on. And honestly, it's a topic I would not have discovered had I not already been learning on Coursera. Their annual subscription gives you access to over 10,000 learning programs. And if you click the link below, you get a whopping 40 percent off three months of Coursera Plus. Thank you, Coursera, again for sponsoring a portion of this video. Moving on to mobile AI habit number three, the prompt snippet keyboard. Now that we can easily bring text and files into the AI apps, we need to reduce the friction of inputting prompts, which is especially important on mobile since typing is such a pain. The setup is ridiculously simple. Simply search for text replacement in your settings, click the plus icon to add a new text replacement. The phrase is the prompt we want to input, and the shortcut is the keyword that expands into that phrase. Pro tip, I use a prefix ZZ for all my prompt shortcuts on mobile because it's right there when I'm typing and it'll never accidentally trigger. Here are three of my most used shortcuts and I'll link to them in the description. First, Z-Z-A-N-A-L. This expands to analyze this excerpt, share the top five takeaways and a clear, concise, and objective summary. This prompt is extremely effective at turning a wall of text into digestible insights in seconds. For example, my previous manager loved to send reading materials right before a meeting to make a point, I guess. But now, let's say I'm grabbing a quick lunch, I can share the report with AI, type the shortcut, ZZ Anol, and receive talking points ahead of the meeting. Second, ZZ Image, IMG. This one's my favorite because I share a lot of screenshots and photos with AI. And this prompt tells me what the image is about and extracts text so that I can easily copy and paste into another app. For example, when a colleague sends me a complex dashboard screenshot, I can pop that into AI and use ZZ Image to get a brief overview before getting back to my desktop. Third phrase, ZZ Late. I work with clients and colleagues in different languages, so this prompt detects the language automatically and translates to English. A common use case for me is to first use this prompt to fully understand what the other party is saying, then use voice dictation to respond on and ask AI to draft a reply for me in the original language. Pro tip for Mac users, the text replacement setting syncs across your devices so you can add shortcuts and phrases directly from your MacBook and they'll appear in your iPhone. Moving on to tip number four, pocket voice command launcher. So this is a quickie. When I press my iPhone's action button, a new ChatGPT conversation appears instantly and I can just start speaking my ideas. To set this up, first search for the action button setting Scroll on over to the shortcut option right over here. And then I'm gonna choose a shortcut. We're gonna search for ChatGPT. Obviously make sure ChatGPT is installed on your phone. And instead of starting a new chat, I like to choose start dictation because I find it way more convenient to talk to ChatGPT when I'm out and about. And this gives me the option to make changes before sending the request. Real example from last week, I was shopping for pillows in store. There were a lot of options. So I just asked ChatGPT, hey, I want you to search the web. Which pillow types are good for side sleepers versus back sleepers? Pro tip, since I still want quick access to do not disturb, which I previously mapped to the action button, I went into back tap settings and mapped the double tap action to a shortcut I named toggle DND. You have to set up the shortcut separately, but it's pretty easy and I'll leave a screenshot here. So feel free to pause and take a minute to set this up for yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. I love sharing these tips, but even the most powerful tactic is only as good as the system it's part of. And that's why I developed the Workspace Academy. It teaches you the core workflow, which is a simple yet reliable system to manage the four types of information we encounter at work. Tasks, ideas, notes, and media. This system eliminates mental and digital clutter so you never lose track of a file or action item ever again. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below. Habit number five, using a smart context commander. This one's slightly more complicated, so let me show you what it does first. I'm reading this article on tax regulation, and to be honest, I'm kind of lost, so I highlight the paragraphs I'm confused about. Go all the way to the right here, click share, 
and I'm gonna select this AI actions shortcut I created. And boom, I get three options. Quick summary, draft to reply, or explain like I'm five. I select that last option, and this opens up ChatGPT. I tap twice to paste, I'll explain why later, and check this out. Uh, there's already a prompt up top that says, explain simply with real world analogy based on, followed by the text that I selected. So this is basically the text replacement feature on steroids, right? Instead of typing a keyword, I've assigned different prompts to each one of these menu options. Here's another example. When I'm away from desktop, I receive a low stakes email that doesn't require much thought. I highlight the email body, tap share, select the AI action shortcut, tap paste, and as you can see, the email body is up top here with the prompt below, and I can start immediately adding my thoughts to the reply. Now onto the shortcut itself. As you can see, it's a bit complicated to set up. So I'll share a link to the shortcut for you to download. And after you make a copy, you need to long press on the shortcut, go into details and make sure the show in share sheet is enabled. You'll then see the AI action shortcut appear in your spreadsheet. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, as you can see. And then I'm gonna click edit actions. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom again, press plus, add AI actions to favorites, click done and it's gonna be pinned up top here. You can of course customize the shortcut to fit your needs. For example, within the shortcut settings, you can add new item. Let's name this meeting notes, for example. Scroll all the way to the bottom, search for text, drag that under meeting notes, the meeting notes section, and type your prompt. Here I'm just gonna say, analyze meeting notes and extract action items, owners, and deadlines, all right? Click return twice and tap select variable and select the shortcut variable all the way at the top right here in order to pass the selected text through, all right? Then we're gonna search for copy to clipboard, drag that below the text card and it updates automatically to copy text to clipboard and there are no changes required here. Search for the final action, start conversation with ChatGPT and move this below the clipboard step. One annoying thing I have to mention for now, this start action option does nothing. And this is why we still need to tap paste in ChatGPT instead of the text being passed over automatically. It's a well-known issue awaiting a fix from OpenAI. But for now, we're gonna click done to save the shortcut. And to test it out, let's go over to my notes from my PT session, click share, and I'm gonna click AI actions. And I see the fourth option up here, meeting notes. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna tap paste. And if I scroll all the way up, you'll see the prompt up here at the very top and everything below that are the notes. And I can just run this and let's fast forward a little bit here. And there we go, it works. If you enjoyed these tips, you might wanna check out some higher level strategies on how to stay ahead in AI. See you there. And in the meantime, have a great one.